It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday. Getting over that hump. It's January 11th, 2023. Number one. Governor Gavin Newsom has declared a weather emergency in California as another wave of storms came ashore Tuesday. Hundreds of thousands of residents are living without power, many stranded in their homes as storms brought down power lines. Depending upon where one lives in California, more rain and wind are predicted, along with weather that could bring tornadoes. Number two, Mayor of St. Louis Tashara Jones Monday publicly announced her approval of $93 million in spending designed to transfer form long-struggling neighborhoods, especially those on the historically black north side of the city. Much of the money included in that measure would bolster ongoing city efforts. Last year, officials budgeted more than $50 million in pandemic aid to renovate dilapidated housing and jumpstart business development in north side commercial corridors. Number three, the wife of a late Massachusetts man is suing the companies involved in the 2021 production of the TV show American Horror Story on Cape Cod, alleging that their lack of precautions to prevent the spread of COVID-19 led to his death. Paul Woodward worked as a passenger van driver, shuttling crews between the hotel and various filming sites. He tested negative when he began working on the project in February of 2021. He left the project for the hospital with COVID-19 symptoms in mid-March. He died of COVID-19 on April 18th. He was 67 years old, according to the family obituary. Number four, SB 129, a new bill introduced by Oklahoma State Senator David Bullard Wednesday, would prohibit medical professionals in that state from providing gender-affirming care to anyone under 26 years of age. A medical provider who still offers gender-affirming care to those under 26 could be found guilty of a felony, which in Oklahoma carries penalties including a $1,000 fine or two years in prison. Number five, Caden Black has been missing from Wrightsville, Pennsylvania since December 17th. The 19-year-old was last seen at his home in Wrightsville. Anyone with knowledge of Caden's disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing Foundation website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. The best way to start every day is with a positive attitude and good energy. That's me, inhaling good energy, exhaling bad energy. Bad energy, bad energy. (laughs) Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with the man of the world, super producer Stephen Hill, Myra J, comedian extraordinaire and activist Quinn Townsend Riley as we discuss today's top headlines and more. To subscribe to my free daily What You Need to Know newsletter, please visit...